so uh, to start the recording. So this is our first official uh, run at the Diablo 2 community uh, replay, ultra replay, I guess. Yes, sir. And uh, I'm Walter 80, and I'm currently joined live by Tim Smith. Hello. And Alphonsus. Am I saying that even right? Yeah, you're saying it right. Alphonsus, what's the last name again? Uh, Dogra. <laughs> okay, cool. And I'm going to be a necromancer. Ah, uh, you are going to be a necromancer. Yeah, that's why I decided to settle on. Uh, I know we're currently missing John. He's not going to be on their first episode here, but I know he said he was going to be the assassin. So if anybody wants to not pick the assassin, you don't have to. Sure. All right. I was um, considering the necromancer. I saw you were choosing between that or uh, paladin. I was like, I hope he chooses Paladin. Uh, so, <laughs> well, I guess I could go with the Paladin. Honestly, no, no, the, it's all right. I'll, the I'll ultimate reason I decided on uh, the Necromancer is so I can name him Raz Erection. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty ironic. Which, yeah, someone's got to pick people as a name. Because Raz can't get an erection. So what classes are still <laughs> available? Uh, well, you can you can be any class. Actually, you can have two of the same class in the same party. That's not a problem. But if okay. you want diversity. Uh, so far as the ones that John did call assassin, and okay. I said I'll be the necromancer. Um, one thing I want to make sure everybody knows is do not select hardcore. Down there at the bottom where it says expansion character, or ladder character, or hardcore. Yeah. Don't check that, because if you check that and your character dies, you never have access to that character again. Oh, wow. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, by all means, do not do that. Uh, since it's been a while, you know what? I'll try to Druid. Druid? Yeah. Alright. Um, let's see here. Barbarian, Paladin. Oh boy. Um. I'll go with an Amazon. Why not? <laughs> cool deal. So we have an Amazon. The lady, crazy guy. <laughs> a Necromancer, and Alphonsus, you said you were going to be a Druid? Yep. Druids are cool. Alright, so I have to have expansion and ladder checked, or...? Yeah, uh, ladder, you don't have to have checked necessarily, but there's no reason not to. It doesn't actually do anything. It just ranks okay. your character against everybody else on Battle.net. Gotcha. Uh, the name of the game is going to be D2 Replay, and the password will be Peepo. That's an easy one to remember. Um... Dude, is this server down? Are you on US East? Yeah, I'm on US East right now. Well, obviously your your Good internet's day. not down, or we wouldn't be talking right now. Yeah. Um. Um. I am. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm on US East. Let's see. Oh wait a second. I got in. All right. Uh. Let's see here. Join. The game name is D2 Replay, and the password is Peepo. Gotcha. And I am correct. This is. Y'all's first time playing Diablo 2? Yeah, yeah I've played it once before, but that was a long time ago. Oh, okay. <laughs> and then, Tim Smith, this is your first time. Yeah, I played Diablo 1, but that was like many years ago. I haven't played this one. Oh, uh, it's a huge step up. Nice. I like the sound of that. <laughs> uh, one thing uh, y'all want to do, as soon as y'all get in, is go to the video options and make okay. sure you jack up the resolution to a whopping 800 by 600. That's going to be the best you'll get, but it'll be better than whatever it starts you out with default. Alright. And then if you push P, uh, we can make sure we all get in the same party. Otherwise, we won't share experience and we won't be able to use each other's town portals. Alright. Uh, uh, Alright, what was that second thing you said? Um, push the letter P. It's the hot key to open the party menu. And uh, you'll be able to join our party. That way, we can use each other's town portals I and uh, all that good stuff. Gotcha. So uh, this is our starting town. It's just the rogue camp where the rogues mm -hmm. are, and uh, you can just kind of explore and talk to these people in town. But all right. uh, to start the first quest. By the way, I don't know how long we're gonna be doing each of these. Uh, 
recordings because I want to make yeah. it somewhat tolerable to people that are just going to be watching the videos so they don't have to you know, watch a three-hour video or anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I think we should be able to get at least the Ladies. first two quests done uh, within a reasonable amount of time. All right. I am a car. Okay. Like no problem. I am priestess of the sisterhood of the sightless oh, eye. Do you think it may be like 20, 30 minute episodes or maybe even a little longer than that? You, Hopefully no more than an hour. No more than an hour? Right. Yeah. Just I'm like afraid a super replay. Yeah. Well, I'm afraid if we break it into 20 or 30 minute episodes, it'll be quite a few of them. Because the game is lengthy. It, it is linear. Despite it being an RPG, it is. You kind of do all the quests in order. But yep. the world itself is she very large, many of our and it, against it's us not a short game by any means. And uh, each difficulty level, I, I want this to see if now we can get through all three difficulty levels, because uh, each time you replay it, you get to use your same character, so you continue to level up. The level cap is 99, so mm -hmm. nobody will be hitting that anytime soon. Find a way to you don't see that in games very much place. anymore, you know, the level caps are quite low by... For all you know, time. Like modern games like Fallout where you cap off at 20. A play? Uh -huh. But uh, also each difficulty level changes the gameplay by making enemies have different attacks and they become immune to different things and you just have to use different strategies all throughout. Plus new items oh. and stuff become available. Do you plan on going through that hardcore mode where if you I die, know you're gone because I, I've. <laughs> the, the furthest I've ever gotten a character on hardcore is probably level like. I don't know, 17 or 18 or something like that. The second act. But once you get to the second act, some of those guys are just insane with some <laughs> stuff. <laughs> and uh, I, I, he died, and I got upset, and I vowed to never do hardcore again. It's very, <laughs> very depressing. Not in Wonderful. town. Yeah. All right, Let's see so, if we can't tackle your nightmares there. Yeah. Um, well, once you've created a character, though, you can't change them to hardcore. And once you've created a hardcore character, you can't change them back. So it's a pretty permanent thing. Ah, uh, gotcha. Uh, has everybody activated the quest already? Yeah, uh, I see it. No, quite no, in quest cool guy down here. Yeah, well, th in the bottom right corner of camp, there's a woman by the name of Akara. And when you get close to her, she'll have an exclamation mark above her head. And that's where you can start your quest. But I don't think you necessarily have to do that. But if you want the story, you wow. have to talk to her and figure out why why we're doing what it is we're gonna do. Yeah. So can't share quests. <laughs> uh crap. Karshia? No. Uh, that that chick's uh no. Um she's kind of a mean. This 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 nice woman down here with the purple robe ah. and the ah, large bosoms. <laughs> And Den of Evil, right? Yes. Alright. Den of Evil is the starting quest, and it's pretty simple. But it kind of, it's almost like you could call it the tutorial stage. There's not a whole lot Gosh. of hand holding or anything like that, but it's pretty simple. Okay. If you push tab, by the way, you'll open up a map that kind of pops up on your screen, shows you where everybody is. Ah. Gotcha. Andy. So I think I got the quest. It's a quest log. Q. Yeah, Q is the uh, quest log and shows you the six quests that are in the first act. Okay, Den of Evil, is that the one that we're on? All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. Sweet. Let's go. Let's go you kill this? some evil. All right. Yeah. This. It starts up right as soon as we exit the town. There's already people, and it's point and click. You just gotta go and hunt them. And, <laughs> and uh, they, uh, just a little point and click. <laughs> good old fashioned, yeah. old fashioned point and click action here. Yeah, I I developed a habit like that in Diablo too. Like all the games, I just keep clicking and clicking. <laughs> yeah, you know, I uh, I never played WoW, but I did play my fair share of Guild Wars, and. Oh. Uh, I probably was worse off at it because of Diablo 2. Oh, that's my own guy. I keep trying to attack him. Um, because I play Guild Wars point and click style, even with the spells. Yeah. And that's not not the best way to do it. <laughs> Is that skeleton? What's with this that's, dude? That's my that's mine. That's, I resurrected yeah. him from one of the dudes we killed already. Ah, uh, alright. Being that I'm a necromancer <laughs> and all. It's like trying to kill it. Yeah. 
Yeah, you'll have some difficulty with that. Correction. Oh. So we're just out here looking for the Den of Evil. It's, it's our first oh. objective. Oh. It's a very big name. I mean, it could be anything. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a, just a hole in the ground somewhere. The Den of Evil. Like, technically, it's the Den of the Den of Evil. Yep. Found a well. What does a well do? Well, will resur uh, resurrect you. It will give you a little bit more life and mana. Ah, uh, so I can pitch stop. Uh, yeah. Uh, and stamina. Ah, uh, 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 oh, this is hilarious. I like their, I like their scream. <laughs> yeah, the uh, the sound design in this game I think is really top notch. Uh, even Oops, by a lot of people. Oh when you level up, which y'all yeah. should yeah. all do previously. Had a heart attack and hit a tree. Yeah, hold on. I'm in a recording thing right now. What <laughs> jewel? When you level up, you'll get these little red dots at the bottom of your screen. You can click those to increase your stats and your skills. Uh. Mm -hmm. Huh. Alrighty, I oh, think I skill. got some armor or something. Let's see here. Using the inventory screen with I, you can of course equip anything you have. Alright, I can summon ravens. Raisins? Did you say you can summon <laughs> raisins? <laughs> ravens. Ravens. <laughs> that'd, be the, that'd be the best power ever. Just yeah, say, right? Just gonna summon some raisins out of the ground. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I didn't know. I think demons are allergic to raisins. That's how you cure hunger. Yeah. You start running low on health, just summon you up some raisins. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it'll keep you alive. I had to live on raisins once. It wasn't fun. <laughs> that'll, uh, that'll clean out your system, too. You won't need to worry about uh, using the restroom. <laughs> yeah. I, don't know. I guess in that sense, it's, it is a pretty good attack. It's like giving the enemies x lax Forcing it down their throats or something. <laughs> Just pooped himself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, magic arrow or fire arrow? Yeah. I can go with fire. Yeah, fire arrow sounds nice. Let's see. So, is there any way I can like uh, equip? Like right now, I got like a little spear and a shield. Can I get like arrows in? Something else um, is going? Yeah, if you have a bow and if you have arrows, you can equip them to your. Uh, if you open your inventory tab, you'll see a right hand and a left hand. If you want to use bow uh, and arrows, you must equip your bow to your right hand and your arrows to your left hand. Or vice, got you. vice versa, I suppose. Uh, the bow takes up both hands. That's. Well, yeah, it, the bow is a two handed weapon, but you still have to have arrows equipped in order. To function. <laughs> I gotta put it where like the hands are. It just goes impossible. <laughs> thank you, thank you, game. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, you got that. <laughs> yeah, it, it's very difficult to wear bows on your head or on your feet. <laughs> no, actually, there was like a little option where I had two hands. I figured that was where it was. You actually wear gloves on your hands. That's what you can do with that. Oh, is that what that was? Yeah, so if you find gloves, you can wear them on your hands. Uh, hold on guys. Hold on a second. No problem? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yo, your skeleton's getting like... <laughs> yeah, he'll just... Oh, this is what I'm dying. Oh, wait, oh, nice. yes. oh wow. That's really good. Oh, wow. So, y your character, the druid, have you ever played as him before? Uh, no. Uh, I wanted to try him out. I played a paladin before, I remember that. But I wanted to try this guy out. The druid is one of the expansion characters for anybody listening. And, yeah. uh, it's actually cool because he can shapeshift into bears and wolves. Oh, nice. And, really? Yeah. And he's actually, he's a very interesting character because he's kind of like a sorceress because he has a lot of, you know, the elemental magic attacks. Uh, and he can also, he's somewhat like a necromancer because he can summon wolves and ravens and other things to fight for us. But yeah, he can also transform into bears and wolves. Hmm. And, nice. Uh, it's pretty cool. Oh. Oh. 
I'm just wondering how to summon the uh, ravens. Oh, how do you summon the ravens? Yeah. You, uh, you want to equip the spell. Yeah. Uh, using down the right where you see your ma your blue uh, globe full of mana. Yeah. There's a little thing. You click that, and you can choose to equip one of your spells, and you should see your raven. Uh, just select it, and then right click. That represents your right click. The other side oh. represents your left click. Oh. Gotcha. My my color just went crazy for right now. The color on your screen? Yeah, I don't know. What's up with that? What the hell just happened? Um, it has to do with... like a bunch of like little red and pink dots. Yeah, that has to do with some of the instability that Diablo 2 suffers on newer versions of Windows. Um, sometimes just a little alt-tab magic will get rid of that. Oh. Sometimes it will, sometimes it won't. Yeah. Uh, I changed it. Oh, yep, there we go. <laughs> oh. Sweet. That worked. Boy, I... You're still looking for the den of the evil. Which is... Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm not even sure what to look for, honestly. It, it'll, it'll just be a hole in the ground. <laughs> but, uh... Ooh, switch that. Interesting thing is, uh, all of the maps are randomly generated. Every time you use it, or every time you play the game. So it's not like there's one path that you can just, you know, use a walkthrough. Oh. I think we evil. found it. Yeah, there we go. Unless I there's more than one den of evil. No, this is this place. <laughs> <laughs> this is the den of evil. This is the one and only. Yeah. Yep. Uh. My character senses death within this place, actually. I think we're in the right spot. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we got a lot of people. The, the ones with the stabs that shoot fireballs, they also resurrect the smaller ones. So it does not hurt to go for them first. Hey, I found a, a short bow there. Yeah, if you want to use your bow, there's a bow for you to pick up. If you hold down the Alt key, it'll uh, display any items that are currently on screen. Ah. Uh, you might have already explained this, but like, how do how could I use like my fire arrows? I mean, I don't have my bow equipped oh, okay. right now. But... The uh, see that blue mana globe at the bottom right corner of your screen? Yeah. If you uh, there should be a little picture that probably looks like an just an arrow that defaults right now. But if you click on that, it's in a square. If you click on that, it'll open up a list of your spells that you have available. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. You I see. choose one of those, to, and that represents your right click. There's another picture on the other side that represents your left click. You can set those to however you like. Ah. You can also, if you, if when you have that menu open, if you hover over any of the other spells, you can hotkey them to your F uh, function keys. Hmm. All right. Now it won't allow you to instantly cast the spell by pushing the F key. It'll simply instantly assign the right click to that spell. If that makes oh, sense. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Also, once you've assigned spells with your function key, you can scroll through them with your scroll wheel on the mouse. Money! <laughs> I keep thinking your skeletons are like that. Yeah, <laughs> they, they try to make them colored significantly more white than the enemy skeletons. Enemy skeletons will typically be yellow uh, or of other strange colors. Dead rope. Oh. Uh, yeah, that, that guy's down. <laughs> Bolts. Oh, yes, you are overburdened. Sorry about that. <laughs> it's like the Disturbed song. <laughs> no? Yeah. I don't know if anybody listens. Um, not, not religiously, but you know, definitely a fan. Yeah. They, they make pretty decent music for, uh, I guess, oh, boy. Diablo, I suppose. Oh, here we go. Oh, that was <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> oh, boy, what is that? I think it's dead, is what that is. Um, oh, there's like two skeletons and two ravens. They're like doing good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's one of the things I think that drives the addictive nature of this game is just the mass amount of carnage going on on screen. Yeah, that was, uh, that was awesome. Oh, we've already equipped them. That's pretty nice. And the unlimited amount of loot, you know, that we need to collect. The huge yeah. Loot collecting 
collect a thon. Yeah, I just picked up like a few scrolls or something, I don't know what it was. gets dropped, um, you share that automatically. So whenever you pick it up and it says three gold, that means you all get one. So you don't have to worry about you being too greedy. The items, however, those are whoever picks them up gets them. So. Uh -huh. Oh, did I use that? Yeah, you did. But I think probably I, th I think I already had full health. I think that was just uh -huh. a big waste. So. Jewels and sapphires and things like that are, you actually insert them into sockets and items you find, and it's a way to kind of customize your item. Uh, kind of a lot like Materia in uh, Final Fantasy VII. Oh, all right. yeah. nice. With the exception being that once you've inserted something into a socket item, you can That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> This guy's yeah, dead. I thought I died. Oh god. Is almost dead. These guys hurt. Yeah. Oh, uh, they're uh, minions. Someone just exploded into a heap of potions. I don't know. <laughs> that, that was the boss. Oh god, King Kong's coming. <laughs> Boom. King Kong. Uh, King Kong monster. Yeah, was that one of you guys that died? Because like, there was just like an explosion of potions that went everywhere. That was actually the boss. Um. Uh, Bosses are also randomly generated in this game, and there's no end to how many of them there could be. And they'll also usually be surrounded by minions. Uh, and when, you hi when you're attacking the character, at the top it'll display their name. If they have an actual name, not just like a generic, like, this is a skeleton. If they have an actual name, that means they're a boss. And if it just says skeleton, but underneath it says uh, minion, then there means there's a boss nearby that they're a minion of. Gotcha. Alright. This game uh, has a lot going on at any given time, so it's a lot to yeah. keep up with, I guess you oh. could say. Where'd you come from? Oops. I'm just kind of standing here and getting attacked. Alright. Alright, we have five monsters left to kill in the first din. Where's that, uh, where does it say that? Uh, in your quest log, uh, it kind oh. of starts to, when it gets close, it kind of starts to update our progress. Oh, Hold on, I'm opening a jar of salsa for my wife. Give me a second. <laughs> there we go. All oh, right. no, don't be overburdened, I want that. <laughs> Fulmination oh, wow. potion. That's a damage yeah. I can. Well, that was that. Oh. <laughs> Where are you guys going? Here's a, does anybody want this amulet? And a key? Uh, you might want them. You can go ahead and pick them up. You can equip amulets uh, up there where it looks like a necklace in your inventory screen. They give oh. you magical abilities. I'm all full of stuff. Oh, well, I, I'll, take, case, I'll, I'll, take <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the key. <laughs> Alright, well, we can go back to town and you can sell uh, anything you have and make how do, how do I, like, drop potions in my inventory right now? Dumb question. Okay, let, yeah, no, let me explain a few of the game mechanics that might be crucial <laughs> before we get too far. <laughs> might be a good thing to know. Yeah. Okay, down the bottom you see, like, you have some potions there. They're yeah, like, yeah. little red bottles. There, there are mm -hmm. numbers next to those. Those are actually correspond to your numbers on your keyboard. And if you just tap one of those numbers real quick, you drink that potion. And All right. Heal you. That's your belt. You can take potions that are in your inventory and drag them to empty slots like that, and that will fill those up. You also have two kinds of scrolls. You have uh, scrolls of town portal and scrolls of identity. Uh, the scrolls of town portal open up a town portal like the one I just made there that's glowing blue. And the scrolls of identify, you can use to identify unidentified items. 
you have to identify the items before you can use uh, them. Yeah, okay, I remember that from uh, Diablo. Yeah, it's, it works very similar to that. Scrolls yeah. of Town Portal, I believe, are also in Diablo. Yeah, yeah, they were. Yeah. Unlike the first Diablo, you don't need scrolls to learn magic. All magic is learned through leveling up with the skill tree. Uh, okay. So that's different. But, uh, yeah, like, I got, like, a bunch of potions in my inventory. Can I just, like, throw them out of here? Like, a Yeah, you can just drop them. You can just drag oh, okay, them and drop them onto the yeah. ground or, or consume them or just something. Alright, did you guys go through the portal? Yeah, we're all through the portal. You are back in town. And I'm just gonna sell all my junk. Gonna maybe use some of it. I gotta get the, this stuff identified. Where's the, uh, the shop person here? Uh, there's a couple. Uh, the blacksmith named Charcy is this rather gifted lady up here at the top right corner of town. <laughs> you saying I'm not a gifted lady? <laughs> no, oh, y'all are equally cool. gifted, I would say. I'm quite the gifted lady. Hi there. There's a lot of I'm gifts Charcy, being bestowed upon the women in this game. Camp. Good to see some strong adventurers around here. But she is, uh, the, she's where you can Greetings. buy weapons and armor. That woman oh. in the purple robe we talked to earlier, you can buy magical weapons from her. Ooh. And then there's this, uh, slimy, slippery guy over here on the other side of town that he is. And you can gamble Necromancy. with him, uh, which means you can buy things that are unidentified at a certain price, and then identify them and see if they were actually worth anything. All right. Nice. I can't use this yet. All right. Also, you have a stash. Is located in this large chest by the campfire. Yeah, yeah. I already just deposited some stuff in there. Oh, the fulminating potions, are those like worth keeping? Uh, you can use those as weapons. You can throw them at enemies and it'll cause an explosion. But they're also right. very. Good day. They're also very valuable at this stage of the game. Uh, to the point where, like, you can sell them for a decent amount of money. Yeah, it's 36 gold. I think I'll do that. I mean, that's something you'll sneeze at later, of course, but uh, <laughs> right now it's worth having, I suppose. Uh, equipment. Uh, hold on a quick second. No problem. Hello? Yes. Oh, I don't think he's talking to us. Yeah, it's okay. That's all right. I know I already had food. I already had food. I already gave my own dinner. <laughs> right, I'll keep it. Yeah, no. You think he's got a mute button? I don't know. <laughs> it's like the uh, Whitest Kids You Know episode know. where they're making fun of Call of Duty. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen that or not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, alright. Alright, Mom. Okay. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. It's pretty cool. You might edit. I might edit some of this downtime out of okay. the actual have video fun. before I publish it. Yeah, okay. Bye bye. Yeah. Have fun editing us being idiots. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think, I don't think the entire Overblood easy. community needs to hear a conversation with his mother. So. Really? Oh snap! <laughs> <laughs> this skull candy headset is too loud. <laughs> <laughs> no, we couldn't I hear just... her talking. We just heard you. Oh. Okay. Gotcha. All right. All right, so that was the first quest, and now welcome, Outlander, to uh, our glory. To Good day, Cassia. I think that's where the next quest comes from. Yeah, it's um, Sisters Burial Grounds. This is this is uh, the first time that the game's actually slightly difficult, at least for somebody that's never played it before. This quest, uh, we actually have to fight our first actual boss, non randomly uh, non randomly generated boss. So it should be fun. Uh, let's see where we go. Just a fair warning for you guys. I do believe that the capture equipment I'm using will record your microphone voices, and yeah. if not, I know I can turn my game up loud enough to where. Michael pick him up. 
but if I have to tweak some settings, don't be surprised if on the first video it just sounds like I'm talking to myself and I'm like a complete schizophrenic crazy guy when I actually first did. I don't know, maybe maybe y'all will be audible, maybe y'all won't. Unfortunately, not 100% sure. We'll see how it works out. This is going to be uh, probably a rough episode. Yeah. Still, it's a learning process. We got a long ways to go though because there's a lot of game to be had. Superior dagger. Yeah, where are we going, guys? Uh, just heading out here. Yeah, just going somewhere anywhere where there's uh, evil that needs to be vanquished. Yeah. <laughs> That's just what I do. Just vanquishing evil. Yeah. Kind of random fuck. thing I often think about when I play games like this or watch movies like that or something like that. Or it's like, when do these people get the chance to shower? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's when we go offline. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's what they do, but I mean, I think they gotta be stinky. Yeah. That or like how their teeth are always so white. Yeah. I believe someone always brought that up in the, uh, the group one time. <laughs> yeah, their teeth are always not just white, but uh, they're very straight and yeah. well groomed. Perfect gum lines. It'd be funny if like they casted someone in the races and they didn't like realize. <laughs> in like a medieval movie. It's like, wait a second, they didn't have braces back then. Yeah. Or just, you know, it's like, you guys walk around for weeks, you know, in the middle of nowhere, you know, in this ridiculously heavy armor. They gotta be sweating <laughs> and, you know, working on some, you know, swamp crotch or something. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. It's an image I want. And it's just like, and it's, you know, maybe you'll see in the movie or something, they'll start to have some type of romantic interest, you know, with maybe a, another fair maiden in the village or something. And it just makes you wonder, like, why they're not completely repulsed by each other's presence. <laughs> no idea. Yeah, you know, there's months worth of musk just built up. <laughs> Their own stench is so bad that they can't smell the other I guess it's, stench. I guess maybe that's how it worked back then. I guess they all just got used to it. Yeah, I'd say so. Yeah, just mess around my Beware. inventory here. Excuse Beyond me. lies mortal danger. Take it. Beyond lies mortal danger for the likes of us. Yeah, we got. I don't think this is the right way. <laughs> yeah. I think she doesn't tell us that if that's where we're supposed to be going. Oh. Does uh, the fact that my like fire arrow button on like the by the, the blue orb is it red? Is that like I don't have enough magic to use it or something? Um, yeah. Is your ma magic low? No, it's full. Then it's just, maybe you've run out of arrows. No, I, I got 250. And I'm just oh, but it's already red right now. The button, yeah. Huh. I could not tell you. If it's red, that usually means you can't use it. And I don't think that has much of a cooldown time, so... Hmm. Uh, Strange. My... Usually the two culprits are you either run out of arrows or run out of magic. Oh. Or maybe your bow broke? I don't think so. Maybe. Let me check. Let's see. Look for Blood Raven in the burial grounds next to the Cold Plains. Oh. Was that the cold plains over there that we almost went through? I think so. Oh, maybe we were going the right way. Wild goose chase, everybody. Yep. Do I have to equip the quiver on my? my oh phone? yes, you must definitely equip the quiver. Alright. Yeah, if you have the bow and say your left hand, equip the quiver in your right hand. Gotcha. That might solve your problem. Yep, cold plains. With javelin. I'm trying to do that and it's like not working. Hmm. Cause the bow is in both hands and then I try to well, whichever the quiver one... in one hand and then it just takes out the bow. Did you try to click the same one you clicked the bow into? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, I don't typically use uh Arrow dealing peoples, so that's a, it's a critical question because that impedes your ability to yeah, dispatch our I, foes. I, I, <laughs> did it be, I did it before, and now it's not doing it. 
Mm -hmm. Oh, it, it did it before, but now it won't work. Yeah, maybe. Does it, is it the fact that bolts? Oh, are bolts arrows? are for crossbows. Arrows oh. are for. That might <laughs> that might help I you. I got two hundred and fifty bolts. Yeah, bolts are oh, for yeah. crossbows. <laughs> arrows are for bows. It's Diablo 2. It's not just Diablo 2 yeah. even. <laughs> so, Diablo 2. Gotcha. Alright. Sorry for the wait, guys. It's all good. Oh, it's no big deal. Like I said, I might. Yeah, you know, I might review this before I post it, and if some of it looks a little boring, uh, I might just edit it out. I don't know. Alright. Yeah, there's like a good job on here. Alright. Oh, I totally didn't realize y'all weren't with me. I just kind of powered through it. Huh. <laughs> I was just... I was, waiting. I was just wrecking. Getting a Diablo 3 when I get that? I plan on it. It, uh. You know, it's been a long time coming, so I hope we can live up to expectations. Yeah, it looks awesome. Yeah. Looks really awesome. One thing I'd have to say I'm a little worried about checking out previews of it and stuff is that the art style seems to have taken a bit of a turn from this game. This game yeah. seems kind of very dark and, uh, you know. Almost like it's designed around some type of horror style game. And, uh, yeah. I don't know, it's just a very dark theme to it. And it seems like with, uh, Diablo 3, they kind of brightened up the colors and, uh, made it look almost cartoonish. Yeah, have you played Torchlight yet? I haven't. I hear a lot of cool stuff about it, though, so I kind of want to. Yeah, nope. it's. Thinking about getting it for Xbox. I've been told it's Diablo esque. Yeah, very much so. If that's a this word. Is blue or ah, there we go. Arrows, no, get out of here, bolts. <laughs> oh, <we got> <laughs> yeah, we got more arrows over here too. Okay, so we're back in business with the fire arrows. Sweet. That's good to know. There we go. That works. All right, where are these? Ah, see, it. got them. So we're looking for a gate to a monastery, which is where our quest lies. That's much more, uh, I can actually picture what that looks like. <laughs> As opposed to a bit of evil. <laughs> Not the way we came from. <laughs> that much has been confirmed. Is there a reason why you guys are running and I'm walking? Um, yes, that's probably because we have the run button engaged, which is R. <laughs> <laughs> that might explain a lot. I didn't know that was a button. I must have not heard you when you were... I probably didn't that. explain that. It was probably entirely my bad. Uh, yeah, I was kind of wondering. I was like, well, I guess he's taking his time, you know, enjoying the scenery. Which I suppose is all cool. Uh, you do have a stamina bar that will run out, though. And should it run out, you'll die. Um, if you won't die, you'll just start walking. Um, <laughs> I, don't like, I don't remember that. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd make it very challenging. Especially if some of these boss fights where you'll be doing a lot of running. I don't know about you guys, but I typically play with the map up the entire time. The little yeah, I'm doing that yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah, I've yeah. had enough so far. Yeah, because it shows me where y'all are and okay. shows me everything. Fire arrows for the win. Those things are nice. You have a lot of ravens. Yep, I'm already on like four. Too many empty graves. Yeah, I kind of feel lonely. You guys got all these pets flying around with oh, you. Yeah. <laughs> you know, ravens and skeletons. I still feel a little lonely. Yeah, actually, the the Amazon didn't get a summon until very late. You hit like, level 30. You oh, wow. summon a doppelganger of yourself. 
Oh, okay. That's pretty cool. Yeah, oh, it's boy. actually it's <laughs> worth the wait because it's quite powerful. Nice. I like powerful things. Yeah. <laughs> There's Blood Raven. Join my army of the dead. Oh crap. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, God. <laughs> okay, don't run away. Yeah. Oh, I was like... Oh, there's a story behind this? I thought we were just killing her. <laughs> yeah. It's like, where's Mancrick's wire? <laughs> oh, I forgot I had a curse that I can curse her with. I didn't get the oh, like, Why am I taking this? <laughs> Alright, yeah. she got wrecked. Solid. Okay. All right. <laughs> Alrighty. All right. That's fancy stuff. <laughs> Epic. I'll take the spike bug. Raven. Oh, I got it. I don't need any of that. Yeah, Actually, yeah, I don't need any of that stuff. So if y'all need it, it's yours. Put some um, arrows down. So that's the first two quests. But right here, though, on each side, there are these two bonus dungeons. Uh, one is called the Crypt, and the other is called... I don't know, something that sounds a lot like the crypt, but something different. Oh, it's called the mausoleum. And uh, we can go through those places, and there's a gold chest inside each of them that will give us some bonus loot. But there's not actually, they're not actually quest related, but I think it'll be worth it because we'll get experience and stuff. And uh, since that's the first two quests, I guess we can go through those two tombs and then maybe call it an episode? Sure. Yeah, sure. sounds good. Alright, so uh, we want to pick one first. Crypt of the Mausoleum, which sounds hmm. better. I go with Mausoleum. Yeah, I'll go with Mausoleum. Mausoleum. I can't even say the word. Mono Mono <laughs> monotheism. That's what we're gonna Mono go with. <laughs> I, I think they both look the exact same inside, though. So we are what, a man down. Oh, wow. Now I have too many arrows. Holy jeez. Uh, got there on the surface. There's still Lapa. Yeah, so I was trying to pick up the, uh, this thing. Okay, where's the... We're over here. Where's the mausoleum? On the ah, other okay. side of the crypt. Of course. Yeah. So what is the origin behind uh, the word Blapa? Oh boy, that's a... That's quite a long story. Um, it was basically like, you know, when like I first like played a game that had like, you know, created a username. Yeah. And I was, I was a weird little kid, so you know, I just made up some weird... Like th that's how you talk. Yeah, I guess when you're that age, like baby yeah, sounds just, still. Just yeah, it just didn't make any sense in what I was saying. <laughs> and uh, yeah, actually, it would much. It used to be much longer. It used to be Blappa Marappa. Blappa Marappa. Yeah, B L A P and then M A R A P. Blappa Marappa. Isn't that a rhythm game? Marappa. <laughs> <laughs> Rappa the rapper. Shit. Oh my god. Oh, there's Sorry, a I, did, I wasted the top one. <laughs> that guy had lightning. That was my bad. Uh. I can see you're like one month old trying to play Zelda and it asks you to enter a username. And just the only word you've learned so far is Rappa. <laughs> Back yeah, where, where you slap him or up, and then I figure it just got too difficult to spell and too difficult to tell people. Oh, you're a little bit <laughs> dead, aren't you? Lapa? Yeah, I'm almost dead. I have like absolutely nothing. Oh, oh I thought you were dead. Your your little bar up there looks quite empty. So. Uh, okay, I see you, bud. Yeah, now there's. I guess you're using yeah. the old potions. Where are you, yeah. though? Uh, I had I flew back to town because I was dying. Oh, uh, that's a wise choice. <laughs> Going back though. Yeah. Okay, cool. That's good. That's an interesting noise. What is that? Huh. <laughs> that? Oh, is that a. Oh, wait. Yeah, I think that is. Uh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, it did. Okay, then. <laughs> so what do, what do the keys do? Keys, noticed... uh, keys unlock things that are locked. 
like like oh, so it's basically like on the legends like chests and doors. Yeah, it's it's kind of like a key. It's kind of like, keys are like keys. Actually. Yeah, you can unlock things with them. Okay, please tell I thought me. Maybe it was like a, a ladder or. Oh no! In um. Bowl of soup or something. No, in all seriousness, you just will occasionally come across a chest that is locked, that uh, presumably contains better items than those that are unlocked. Gotcha. I haven't, see, I haven't come across any, so that's why I was kind of wondering. I was like, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I got keys. Yeah. So we haven't found any locked chests per se, but sometimes you don't even notice they're locked until you try to open them, and he says he can't open them. So they don't always even have anything better. Just everything in this game is randomly generated from the enemies to the bosses. To the Gotcha. There is a gold chest in the back of the Oh, there is. Oh. Oh. Hope we got our little boss here. So much to stay. He wasn't doing much. Oh. There's some loot. So imagine these graphics like 10 years ago. I mean, yeah, this is a. Uh, seems pretty nice. I mean. Pretty cool. Definitely, definitely about as nice as anything out. For for 2D, there. anyways. Yeah. It'd be nice if the resolution were a little bit better. But as far as 2D games go, it's. Uh, I think it even beats out Castlevania. <laughs> in terms of what I would consider some of the leading 2D graphics. Yeah, you mean like. Symphony of the Night and yeah, stuff? Yeah, Symphony of the Night, or, uh... Did you all play the Game Boy Advance one, uh, called, I think, Circle of the Moon? No, actually, Symphony uh. of the Night is the only Castlevania I've ever played. Ah. I know, that's blasphemy. Well, not but. necessarily, yeah, it is probably the best one, I would say. Which yeah. others, I guess, might call blasphemy. But, uh, I think we can go back to the ground level, by the way, and go to the other one now, because we found people. Alright. But, um, Circle of the Moon is actually very, very similar to Symphony of the Night. Uh, yeah. So it's. Uh, I don't know. I thought it was very good. Also, it's for Game Boy Advance. And it had oh. decent graphics. See, yeah, I did myself a huge, like, huge, like, disfavor in the fact that I never got a DS. And uh, I wish I did because there were so many good games that came out for the DS. And I haven't gotten to play like any of them. You know, the the uh, the sad thing is, I own a DS. Well, specifically, my wife owns a DS. Um, but. It, the only game I think we have that is for the DS is one that she had called The Sims Tropical Island or something like that. Called The Sims? The si yeah, it's a it's a game in the Sims franchise. One or two? Uh, or three? I think it's based around two. But you're like an outcast. It's like Sims. It's almost like Survivor Sims. Did you guys go into oh. the crypt? Yeah, I, I think so. Yeah. Alright. And that's the only game that she has on the DS, and I haven't even played it, so... Oh, wow. Oh, like a Survivor Sims. There's so many good games on the DS. So many. I believe it. Um, yeah. I haven't even played any of the Pokemon ones. So. Yeah. Uh, no. And I'm kind of a Pokemon fan. <laughs> oh, you should get, like, Heart Gold, Soul Silver. Like, when that game came out, like, last year, at cons, everybody was just doing, like, Poke Walker, Poke Walker. Butt scratcher, butt scratcher. <laughs> what does that mean? A Poke Walker is kind of like it's like a pedometer as well as. Oh Scott. my gosh! I used to have any games. Holy cow! Back in the day, and I mean like before Yellow, I think even came out. I had this thing. It was kind of almost like a Nano Pet, except it was for Pikachu. And oh, I, I like a Tamagotchi kind of. Yeah, thing. it was like one of those. Except you clipped it, and you, it got experience by you walking around. But you took care of it the same way you would a Tamagotchi. Huh? I think I do. I think I remember the one of those. I don't think. I'm not sure I if it's like evolution or like Tamagotchis, where eventually it could become a Raichu or anything like that. But yeah, we are talking about Pokemon and playing Diablo. <laughs> <laughs> Just like any good Diablo fan. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Who is that? Who is that golden guy again? Oh, I'm sorry. That's mine. I summoned him out of the ground. Oh. Yeah, Dude. I was trying to attack him once again, but I didn't want to say <laughs> anything because I've already said that enough. Y'all are just brutal. 
to my uh, to my guys that I summoned. Y'all have no respect for them. They just look so evil. They're here trying to help you out, you know. <laughs> they you just look that. evil. <laughs> I got wolf. <laughs> when I see them pick up arms and start chewing on them, I get a little worried. <laughs> but, um... You know, sadly, portable gaming has been my favorite. Uh, the last time I really spent a lot of time portable gaming was with the Game Boy Advance. Yeah, that's, that's the last one I have. I, I plan on getting a 3DS though, and then that you know it works with the backwards compatibility, and so that's how I'm gonna end up playing all those good games. I have, just go through the 3DS. No, I don't have a PSP, um, and I can not use it to actually buy for the sole purpose of only PSP games. That's what I've been doing. It actually has Symphony of the Night on PSP. Is there? Well, what it is is you, through the PlayStation Network, you can uh, download PS1 classics, and they work on your PS3 or PSP. And yes, yeah, so the entire library of PS1 classics that PlayStation Network has all work on the PSP. And that's actually the sole reason I purchased the PSP. Huh. That's pretty cool. Although I did get... Uh, did you get uh, Tactics? Yeah, so I, I did get tactics, and um, I also it came with Little Big Planet on PSP for free. So Ooh, that nice. was a <laughs> nice little bonus. Also, did you see the uh, the remaster thing that they? Uh, I did. Just that sounds came out? kind of cool. Except yeah, I think I, it's pretty awesome. I don't know. I just I, I guess I haven't played a lot of the games that are on that remaster list simply because I didn't want to. <laughs> so I don't know if I'll want to now that they're gonna be you know in HD and all that good stuff or not. I guess we'll have to see. Oops. Um, I think that's it as far as all the bonus loot for this quest. We can go back to town and uh, complete the quest by talking about yeah. the chicken fire. Yeah, yeah I set up a town portal if you want guys want to go through it. We all have town portals. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> there are three. We are. You're definitely thinking with portals. <laughs> yeah, definitely thought yeah. I was a uh, special there. <laughs> I can't believe that you like, hey, look what I got. Yeah, if you talk to this woman here, she'll actually let you start hiring mercenaries from her. Oh, no. Yes. And she'll give you one for free right off the bat, so you may notice the party size has increased because you now have a mercenary. Yeah. Her party size is already, like, overflowing. Problems <laughs> <laughs> and skeletons. And yeah, we all have our own ogres. mercenaries now, so there's quite a few people on our side. And if you don't like the one you have right now, you can click the higher button in her dialogue option. And there's a couple others you can choose from. Nice. I usually like to pick a very high level cold arrow person because they can use cold arrows and slow the enemy down. You can also manage their inventory by pushing O. And you can equip them with helmets and armor and bows. Wow. Gotcha. Um, now I see it says like cost 172, is that a... That's in Is gold. that like over time or is it just once and done? That is once and done. Oh yeah, once. no, it's not like you hire them out like on a monthly basis or something. Okay, alright. No, it's, huh. it's a one and done thing. And if they die in battle, you can talk to her again and resurrect them. And the amount it costs to resurrect them is determined by how high of a level they are. Oh, okay, <laughs> just like in real life. Yes. Yeah. That's how it works. Gotcha. <laughs> if, <laughs> yeah. Become a mercenary. Just yeah. like in real life, when your friend dies, just go down to. Uh, down to the Be like, board. hey, buddy, uh, how much, how much, uh, how much what, do you want? What level are you on? Yeah, it's kind of like that real life thread we had on Facebook. You know? <laughs> what level are you oh, on? Oh yeah, buddy? that one's. <laughs> Let's whip out my gold coins here and bring you back to life. Um, so I think that was a pretty uh, thorough look at the beginning of Diablo 2. Yeah. We got two quests in our belt and. Uh, Uh, quadrupled our party size, I would say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least quadrupled. I guess, yeah. Without even adding any new overblowers to it, so it'll be, oh. it'll be cool when we get more people in, or at least John Krasansky, whatever his name was. Yeah. Krotowski, something like that, yeah, I don't know. Um, and I guess uh, until next time, thanks for joining me, guys. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, man, right. anytime. <laughs> <laughs> Cool. Uh, I guess I'll end the recording right here then.